Who's your quarterback? I don't know. Uh, the good one? I don't actually, Honestly, I don't know. It's only one of them is good? Is that... Yeah, is this like... <laughs> I sort of got a vibe, but... I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're a little anxious. You're like kids on like three days before Christmas. <laughs> you good? Are we good? good. Cool. Question, how important is the spring game in terms of the evaluation process? Um, I don't know. Um, I think that... We you have to be careful not to take it. It's just being a fun... It's a fun thing, but it's... Uh, you know, it's a chance to... It's an, you know, it's a chance to get better and put yourself on film and a chance to uh, you know, show what you can do in front of a lot of people. And uh, at the same time, you got to enjoy it a little bit. But, uh, you know, I'm sure just like any practice or any scrimmage, there's evaluation that happens. Can you talk about it being like the last impression that you can leave with the coaches before you get into the summertime? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and it's the last impression you sort of have. So if you do well and you kind of know you do well, you have sort of a confidence to carry yourself through the summer into the fall camp, and, you know, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth if you didn't, you know, if you, you went out there and didn't perform well or, and, you know, got hurt or something that, you know, you sort of, you sort of carry, you carry that with you. And so it's the same sort of between practices. You know, if you had a bad practice, you want to come out the next practice and do well, and so this is the last opportunity. If you don't have that opportunity to sort of come out and do better, then, you know, it leaves a little bad taste in your mouth. You've been here for the last two. It was 25,000 two years ago, 43,000 a year ago. What's that been like for you to see the growth of the spring game from the fans? Yeah, it was amazing. The first time I was here, I think we had like two sections on each side that was, you know, were full of guys, and you know, and then we expanded a little bit. And then last year they roped off, and they roped off the end zones, and all of a sudden the end zones were half full, and you know, it's pretty amazing. And uh, you know, real, you know, really, uh, really speaks to you know the quality of fans we have around here, and that. There's barely, you know, there's barely 50,000 people in Eugene to come to the game, let alone, you know, let alone fill, let them fill the stadium on a Saturday. So it means the people coming up from Northern California or Portland to watch a glorified practice. And, uh, you know, so it speaks really highly of, uh, you know, our fans. Can you talk about your guys kind of involved important to you? <laughs> yeah, it's really awesome. Um, you know, I think one thing that means a lot to guys in this program is that, uh, you know, the coaches and you know guys like James Harris have helped make us really aware that, um, you like it or not, we uh, we sort of you know wield the sword you know in this community to sort of do good, or you know in this you know in this region to do good, and uh, you know you should you should use these couple of years to sort of uh, you know use that position and that influence to sort of you know to to help others, um, you know, and we're just kids playing football, and a lot of people care about us, um, where you know there's kids out there you know putting their lives on the line every day for us, and. Uh, you know, just as, a lot more people should care about the things they're doing than, than the silly game we play.